The report's been released and it leaves no doubt that there was no collusion. It's right there in the report on page 181. Quote, the investigation did not establish that the Russian contacts amounted to an agreement to commit any violation of federal criminal law, including foreign influence and campaign finance laws. So I guess that about wraps this up. Good night, folks. Predictably, this is nowhere near over, and in fact, it will never end as long as Trump is president. Even after his presidency, they'll likely go after him and anybody around him. The establishment is definitely sending a signal to anybody on the outside that has ideas about trying to come in and shake things up. In light of that, CNN is up to its usual dirty tricks and is attempting to muddy the waters by blasting Twitter with misinformation. One of their posts reads, After Trump publicly asks Russia to hack Hillary Clinton's emails at a July 2016 press conference, repeatedly asked individuals affili affiliated with his campaign to find the deleted emails. First off, he never asked Russia to hack anyone. That's an outright lie. Trump was making a joke about the news at the time that Hillary Clinton had deleted 35,000 emails off her private server and that they were missing. Trump said that maybe Russia could find them and then give them to the media. Russia, if you're listening, I hope you're able to find the 30,000 emails that are missing. I think you will probably be rewarded mightily by our press. The left and the media have been trying to use this as a key part of their evidence that Trump is working with the Russians. CNN is apparently so confident in this evidence that they feel the need to lie and claim that Trump asked Russia to hack Hillary. You may have seen this story, it's all over CNN, but apparently when Trump found out that Mueller was going to be an investigator, he said that that's the end of my presidency, I'm fucked. But again, we're dealing with some deception here. If you read the entire document, and it's only a page long, you'll see that he's talking about his agenda and his ability to get anything done. He's not saying that he personally is screwed, but that's not what CNN wants its viewers to think he said. For people that are so adamant about collusion, they sure do have to lie and deceive a lot. So I think that is the part uh, that they get in trouble with. And, and, you know, when the president tweets, no collusion, no obstruction, once again, it's a lie. Oh, so there was collusion after all, according to these guys. They were right the whole time. Sure, the report flat out states that there was no collusion, but we tend to forget that CNN operates on its own alternate timeline. In their timeline, Trump was indicted, and everybody at CNN gets pats on the back for being right the whole time. I wonder if maybe they're talking about the Russian collusion that happened in the Hillary campaign. <laughs> Mueller lays it all out. The idea that there's nothing in here, or that it was a witch hunt, or that this is a hoax, I don't know how they make that case in good conscience anymore, Carl. Tell me how. Politically or ideologically, to process the information and make some sophisticated judgments about the behavior of everybody I've mentioned here. Sophisticated judgments is the operative phrase. Right, of course. We're just not smart enough to see the collusion. Thankfully, we don't need to be because the report spells it right out. There was no collusion and there's not going to be any indictments. Look, folks, there really isn't a whole lot to say on this that hasn't already been said. We've been put through two years of a media manufactured conspiracy theory, and they are so utterly invested in this narrative that they will do anything to hang on to it. This is nothing more than political warfare, and they're willing to tear this country apart to do it. These partisan hacks are basically just saying that Washington has fallen and Russian agents now reside in the White House. I'm concerned that there are more than just a few nut jobs out there who are going to feel completely justified in taking action against Trump or his supporters. Remember, these people can rationalize just about anything. Be safe out there. Hey everyone, thanks for watching. I know this video is shorter than usual, but that's because we spent about two hours last night talking about it on the live stream. If you haven't watched it yet, check it out. There will be a link at the end of the video. And as always, if you want to support this channel, please like, share, and subscribe. You can also support us by subscribing on Patreon or donating on PayPal. Thanks again. Um,